Hey, I'm Tack, and right now we are live on YouTube. Just kind of killing some time before the Tria OS 1.0 playtest. Hopefully starts in soon because right now the Roblox site is super down, down bad. Yeah, like just straight up broken. And in the meantime, I want to start doing some React style content on stream and then uploading that to YouTube. And hopefully, you know, hopefully this will be up at some point. And so the first video we are going to react to is by Evan, super cool uh, content creator in the FE2 space. Uh, sort of, I, I don't know if he's like the pioneer of like FE2 commentary style videos, but I know he's he's done a lot of them, right? And for the most part, in the pretty banger. So we're going to react to FE2 community ranks, the May 2024 highlights. I, I, I did play the May 2024 highlights. I think like CMA is pretty cool. Um, Wasting Junction is pretty cool. You know, we'll see what the FE2 community thinks. Okay, okay, we're starting with, uh, what, oh, what the heck, what the frick is this map called? <laughs> at the normal map, it, bro, why do I, why do I forget at the worst times? 60 plus people respond, okay, that's awesome, man, I love that. Yeah, we are just gonna, you know, go, go support Evan, guys, go support Evan, go, you go watch it, uh, you know, like, and you'll probably subscribe, right? Here we go, Sandstorm Dunes at number six, okay, 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 yeah, okay, so this is like, okay, community put, Overall, uh, gave us like the worst ranking. I will say there's like one portion where you do have to backtrack quite a bit uh, after pressing a button. Yeah, that, that's a little confusing. A lot of surprisingly long jumps. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree. Like when I was playing it for the first time, I was surprised how long some of the jumps were. Like for an easy. It ain't really lacks verticality, but it does for the sake of design. So it's justified. My only complaint would be that I noticed almost no recovery points, which is something no easy map should lack. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of bad. Like if you fall on an easy map, you should be able to recover pretty easily because, you know, I literally like, you know, five-year-olds literally, literally, literally playing this map, so. Tripperonis set coming in with the Your Mother. That's insane, dude. Welcome, welcome, but also, no. Only I can say that. The map looks beautiful and the lighting's really nice. You can also see desert fiend buildings in the background, like saloons, which is a nice detail. I always like, I wish I wasn't in the background. I wish those were more like part of the map, right? It's, it's a very terrain-centric map, and it's a lot of like kind of islands and little water and stuff. It, it's an okay design, I, I think. Um, the theme looks nice, you know, pretty solid, like, FE2 terrain style, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, like, nothing, anyone, anything that, like, blew me away. Maps that are literally just, like, mostly nature in gameplay, it, it's always a bit of a turnoff for me. They just don't stand out super hard, because there's, like, a million of those now. Your cousin? That's crazy. Your sister? Your grandma? Your nephew? Bro, y'all capping. The map's progression keeps the entire product samey, but it's not much of an issue design-wise. Yeah, I mean, objectively, it's pretty solid. Um, subjectively, though, I don't know. It's not nothing super impressive. One, one, out of the two, Salpot Guy OST... Wait, Salpot Guy? Guy who made the Snowy End OST? I can't can't quite remember. You guys will have to remind me in chat. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. Nothing super special, but solid. Yeah, so he did not make the Snowy End OST. Oh my god. You know what? That's a big freaking improvement from Snowy End. Pitching in at the number five highlight of the month is Wasteland Junction being just below Sandstorm Dunes. Is we map a high B tier just below Nate. I don't know about that. Honestly, I can kind of understand that considering the other maps. Let's see what he has to cook. Why are you not playing Roblox? Because we can't. Decent gameplay, but events like Fog or Swimming Buns kill the gameplay a lot. I do feel like a map could use a little more indication. Eh, I guess you could use a little more to be honest. Although I feel like the map is pretty good already. Not Math makes use of variance twice, which is a plus, and also has a very nice swimming section design wise for Wasteland Junction -y map is good. Okay, yeah. Variance, right? Like Rudic Maze. That is a peak insane map right there with variance. Um, even like Frozen Settlement before has some has a lot of variance, which is awesome. Like those two maps I think have really shown what you can do with variance. There are just so many good, like insane highlights, man. I don't know. Like, you really have to do a lot to to truly stand out. Like Kozui Peak, man, that has to be one of my favorites, not my favorite insane highlight. I'm just so happy it finally got highlighted. I, I, I really wish it was permanent, man. It's so good. When Mbot body pillows, so true, man. You know, I feel so safe with like an Mbot right next to me, bro. And once again, composed by Cellpot guy. Once again, same guy who did Snowy End. Like, that's wild. Remember when, you know, when maps, you know, when people like using Camellia and I guess like Water Flame, right? Okay, that's cool. My Slim Junction, oh. Promise he's not a furry, just matching with someone else. Caught. When is Stopian Guard Body Pillow? So true, Enzo. Where is it? Anyways, I'd say, okay, yeah, one of the most unique highlights we've gotten in a while. Okay, 
Honestly, though, I'd say out of like crab cakes math, 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 math factor reference. Um, yeah, like Skywork, honestly, pretty poggers. I would say it's maybe the weakest out of crab cakes, like like um, like uh, Skywork Falls and Mesosphere. I'd say those two are improvements. Um, but yeah, Skywork Armada is still super solid. And you know, the theme, right? Super unique, obviously. Uh, some gameplay elements inside the blimps can be real cramped, hard to sight read in my opinion. Uh, that's just skill issue. Small floating ship thingy is a bit much. More air deco? Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I, I was thinking too. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. Well, I mean, there's background detail, I'm pretty sure, but you know, you don't really see a lot. I feel like this gameplay is too harsh for hard difficulty. Uh, just skill issue. Looks like insane for FE2 stands to limb out. Honestly, yeah. You know what, though? If it was a tree map, yeah, it'd be pretty, pretty, pretty normal. You've been reacting for 25 minutes, but you're only seven minutes into the into the vid is that okay maybe I, maybe i am stalling a little too much nah nah this is peak oh my god is this a is this a bad gateway reference from tria os that's crazy or like design design is great man the duality of the fe2 community oh 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 shit yo ain't no way ain't no way yo that's crazy we man we're coming the biggest tria streamer of this one we're also the low difficulty map extremely satisfying yeah, 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 yeah. Easy map. Okay. Fun factor, energetic aura, zero complaints. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty fun. Honestly, it doesn't stand out too much for me. I'd say this is, for me, one of the probably less memorable ones. Looks like cave system and decrepit seas combined. Real and true. I actually like this map. I don't want to say it because people are going to send frets to me. <laughs> Not going to lie. That's wild. Oh, and Snowy Peak. Wait, Snowy Peak. <laughs> you kind of lost me there, bro. Uh, if I speak in an opinion, I will get harassment and frets from FE2 community for sure. <laughs> Ah, oh, bro, the FE2 community is honestly wilding, bro. Like, I, man, man, I should really talk about, like, the Wildwood Waterways thing, but I just don't know that much about it, because I wasn't there when it got added. Me neither, but how do you bully someone out of the community in three hours? Like, like, this shit's happened with, like, cause the Cosmic War Creator as well, which I don't even like their maps that much. Like, I think they're overrated, but what the hell is with the harassment? Like, what are we doing, bro? This is not the Genshin Impact community, bro. Oh, Evan? Wait, Evan, did, did he get harassed? I'm, I'm not saying he didn't. I just, there's just been so much drama that it's hard to keep up. I think the drama's always sucked ass. I think it can be really funny, but not when people are getting harassed for it. It must be Skibbity Toilet. It's the root of all issues in the F2 community. Genuinely. CBG drama, popcorn, that's crazy. Have you seen Starfall Charge? Oh, shit, I need to... Yeah, shout out to Starfall Charge. Yeah, th so that's like, man, what's his name? Like, Lion Lie or something? The same guy who made like Redakin way back in the day made a new map called Starfall Charge. It is insane. Or well, it is crazy. It's a crazy map. And it's, it's insane. You will reveal your face. I don't, I honestly don't really have an issue with the face reveal. It's just that like, oh my god, the background looks so bad. Like, it, I gotta need to clean his rib up again. I look very dark and mysterious. Okay, okay. Oh, you know what? You know what? There's a lot of same same stuff. We're just gonna speed right through this. Soundtrack. I think it's a pretty solid soundtrack. Right, guys? Nothing in, in absolutely nuclear insane, but... Ethan map reviews? Dog. Those would have to be, like, video essays. Like, a NOS, NOS review? Dude, that would be banger. But also, <laughs> bro, you can make that, like... I can make that into, like, a half-hour video if I really wanted to. Half-hour video of Taggy Yappy is equivalent to reading one tenth of the Holy Belt. Nah, Nack. That's crazy. Games not play around? Yep. On the track fits? Okay, cool. S tier? I don't know if it'd be S tier. Pretty solid. We're, oh my god, holy yapping, bro. Holy yap. Hop on Fortnite. Fop Toodle! Nah, bro, that's cat, buddy. That's cat, buddy. Nah, bro, why the hell would I ever play Fortnite? Wait, Fop, are you streaming right now? You better be streaming right now, or else I'm banning you from chat. Why did I get added in? Okay. So Roblox is so down. Bro, how is it still down, man? Your rarest R's and Souls RNG? No. Nah. I am never playing Souls RNG, bro. Honny God. I don't want to play a gotcha game without the game. Je like, literally. It's literally a gambling simulator. And that's it. There's no game. There's there's no freaking game. Like, why is it so popular? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, Deserted Frontier. This map's a W, I think. Tacky yap like da, bro. We're enjoyable and fun with the decorations successfully attempting to enhance the path is fair to sight read. Transitions is pure fire, especially when we press buttons. What I really like about the gameplay in this map is how it never feels the same and there's always something going on. Such dynamism is something you'd rarely see on any normal map. Also, side note, I really like the theme in this map. So I've been making these quote videos for a bit where people were songs only for about 
He's never gonna quote quite as long. Thanks, Cypher Cats. Essay? Are we gonna see like Holy Essing? Oh my holy <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Nah, bro. Ain't no way you wrote an actual like short essay, man. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, should I read this chat? Should I read this chat? Should I read all this? You ain't reading all that? Okay, I am reading all that. Yeah, y'all don't even have a choice in the matter. Okay, we're reading all that. No? I think that's a yes. And... Okay, we're done. How's that, guys? Do you mind just being run that? And it's released in five... Wait, what? Wait, what's going on? What's going on? Wait, 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 what's going on? Four minutes? <laughs> oh, nah, bro, that's crazy, bro. I... Okay, we gotta finish this freaking video. Tack, you'll do great in your presentation assessment. Thank you, man. Um, drops you on the lowest server. Okay, yeah, 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 I got Sandra, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, let's just skip to number one. It's a good map, the great map. One say it's number one, very solid though. Number one. Yo, is that hyperspace? Yo, guys, they just added hyperspace to Flood Escape 2, guys. We, we, we today we're gonna beat Flood Escape 2. It, we're gonna be hyperspace. <laughs> we're gonna be hyperspace in Flood Escape 2. No, it's actually Central Mass Array. <laughs> is this another essay banning everyone? So true. Yep, map is a pain in the beat. Ain't to beat. Yep. Incredibly creative, immersive. Yep. Beams of lava blasting efforts the first step. Yep, 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 yep. A huge lava orb. Yep, this map is insane, bro. Electro is cooking this one. You know, <laughs> Zappy would not agree with me, but yeah, I love this map. Bro, Electro Blast, man, he hasn't missed. Super cool, creative, fun at the same time. Yep, S here. Yep, yep, absolutely agree. Great theme. Held back with performance issues. It's a tough part, really, I feel like. Uh, just a skill shoot, man. Favorite highlight of the month? Agreed. Of the highlights that we have increased plus highlight, this is the only month that has been the best with Van Drake here. Just being straight up bad, bro. And the upper highlights being overshadowed by the crazy maps? This was the first. That is crazy. Is piece of shit gets number one, bro? Nah, bro, and it's cat. This game play is honestly not fun. Nope, skill shoe. Skill shoe. Straight up. Like, if you hate this map, just skill shoe. Do better. Like, it's a crazy plus, man. Like, what do you expect? It's definitely one of the harder highlights we've gotten. I don't know if it's as hard as, like, abandoned junkyard, but it's pretty pretty up there. But I, I do kind of like the, you know, when crazy plus maps are challenging. You know, I, I love seeing challenge maps in FE2. I don't know if it's, you'd consider this a challenge map, but it's pretty hard. So, it, you know, it's a challenge. And I love that, honestly. And I hope we get more maps like that. You know, because I, I think that'll just be way more exciting, you know, in the long term. That was not very fun and very fun at the same time. True, man. Doesn't seem too bad, but I remember humanoid ball part. Okay, fair enough. You know what? Sure. Yeah, true. Oh, look at these wall jumps. Man, I hate the wall jumps in this last part so much. Like dropping down and having to hit a zip line and then, or not a zip line, hit a wall jump. And on the last wall jump, you have to hit the button, which is on a, at the very bottom of the wall jump. So you have to kind of aim. Oh my God, that is crazy. Oh yeah, it doesn't have an OST yet. I think it's actually okay. It's an okay choice. It does kind of sync. It's not perfect, obviously, but honestly, I think it's the best we were gonna get. Uh, our is ranking. I had so much fun reading everyone's explanations to the forum. I really want to thank everyone for responses. I believe I've credited all the quotes too. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Okay. All right. That was cool. That was cool. We're done. Um. Anyways, go like. Go like and subscribe. That was a that was a crazy video. That was one crazy video by Evan. Another banger. Yeah, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed that. Yeah, playtest time. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Um, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next one, I guess. Wow, that was the most generic YouTube outro like ever. But yeah, hopefully more stuff like this uh, later. Thanks guys.